Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about how to format date and time using strf time and strp time. So before starting with this session, I want to suggest you to watch my previous session of date and time in Python so that it will be helpful for you to start your journey with Python date and time. Because in date and time, there are multiple threads are related with that. So whenever you are working in Python coding, it will be required to have a deep knowledge about Python date and time. So let's understand the agenda of today's session. Then we will move to the further part. So we'll discuss here STRF time, what is STRP time, and by using two programs, I will show you how we'll use it in real life programming. So whenever we are talking about formatting a date using strf time or strp time it means there are different sets of format available for the date and time just like starting with ddmmyy or mmddyy or yymmdd so these are the three formats that are available which is accept acceptable in all the programming languages as well as SQL or in the backend. So whenever we are calling these type of data, we need to make sure the data which is available in the database should call the exact format or whenever it is required to trim or change the data in different format, then it will do that. So strf time and strp time we are using for formatting the data in different terms. So for formatting data we need to call from from date time module. So if you don't know about the date time module please watch my previous session of date time in python. I will also mention the url and description tab so that it will be easy for you to refer each and every topic in detail. After entry from date and time we need to import date time module. So date time module will provide us the directory of whatever directory is available in date and time. We will use it by using this. So we have to enter now equal to date and time time dot now and the function. Post that if you want to call a time equal to now dot strf time and we have to provide a format. So whenever we are calling for the time, we need to enter the hours, minutes, and seconds. So how we'll use it? So we need to use the modus operator and the modus operator with h then the colon second is minute so m then again colon and then again modus operator and the seconds so these are the formats are available for the r minutes and seconds we can also include the time with time with other factors as well like timestamp then microseconds microseconds is also available so let's print this print i'm calling time only so by this way we can use it let's take time one in time one we are going to declare now dot again strf time and the format I'm copying and pasting into here so that we can make the changes. So make the changes in addition to time we are calling here as date. So uh, modus operandi then m in the forward slash because in the date and time format either we are using hyphen or forward slash. 
so here d again forward slash and next is your so here y then place comma here so that we can differentiate it now let's print time one time 1 because the object we have created with this. The second we can also change with DDMMYY format. Let's copy and paste and change the factor here. So like I want date first then month and then year. But this way we can print second output that is time 2. Apart of that, we can also declare third part that is time 3 and in time 3, we will need Y, M and D at the end. Now, let's run this code so that we will see how our output looks like. So, okay. So date and time is not having D here because of that we are getting an error. Yeah. Now you can see first we have printed only time. That is what is the server time is available. It's printing here. Second in time we have provided 12 means 22. First is month, date and this is a year. Second so this one is calling with date, month and year and the timestamp is same. And third is calling with year, month and date. So by this way, we can use the modus operandi with the year. In the format codes, the HTRF time method takes one or more format codes and written as a formatted string base. So in this example, if we are talking about year, year is always start with four digit, which contains 0001 to 9999. So maximum or upper limit is 9999. Month, if we are talking about the month value, month is always contain only two digit and start with 0, 1 to 12. Date, in the date format always appear in two digit only and start with 0, 1 to 31. R is same two digit digit but start from 0, 0 to 23 because 24 hours timestamp we have month is or sorry minute is start from 00 and ends is 59 that is 60 seconds second says R 00 and ends with 59 and going forward we can also use the microseconds as well so by this way we can use HTR of time to format or date in time accordingly let's understand HTRP time so whenever we are talking about the HTRP time, we need to declare some variable with data like d underscore string inside our str equal to date we are going to give here 12 feb 2020. So now this is the value. Let's call this value into print statement or show this value because we have declared the object name as the str d underscore str let's create one more object which contains d underscore obj equal to date time dot strp time d underscore str comma inside the double quote again we are going to use modus d forward slash or M 
then second is also this then again it's comma there is a no modus operandi in between this and let's use this as a b then comma and third is here third is modus operandi y so let's print this and see how our data will look like that so print will have some date obj let's run this so because in the second statement we don't have m value and instead of m we have provided b because of that it's not calling and we are getting an error so whatever data we provided for this we are getting in response and rest data we are not receiving any response so that's the how it strp time is work suppose we are working on the project and need to display read in time based on their time zone rather than trying to handle time zone ourselves we have to use some third party tools for calling this so this is how it looks in python when we are working with strf time and strp time so hope you like this and got all the points we have discussed here if you really thought this one is very interesting please provide your feedback in comment section and press thumbs up so that it will be clear for other viewer so how the content looks like that thank you for watching